Hey everybody, it's the Wild Collector. We're in a uh, temple of Ankaraji. Uh, it's gonna be a really quick video. I didn't get much to drop. A lot of plate drops throughout here, as you'll kind of see, and a bunch of back pieces as well. Uh, breastplate of annihilation for plate wearers and cloak of concentrated hatred are what drops from here. That's it. Um, moving forward, silithid royalty, and we are gonna kind of skip ahead just because I don't want to really to really record so much of the walking through here uh, it's a long raid it takes a while to get through and, you know after 30 or 40 of these runs people are going to start getting bored of watching this so uh right here just pull all the trash at once remember if you're fighting this boss kill them one at a time and wait if not you're going to deal with the reset thankfully i didn't get feared either so it saved about 20 seconds uh, what dropped was a guy's devourer. It's for leather wearers and ooze ridden gauntlets for plate. Um, that's it. Kind of skip ahead a little bit to the third boss here. Uh, we're gonna get a thick Karaja hide belt and the leg plates of blazing light. So the the belt is for leather and the leg plates are plate. So if you're keeping track, the first few bosses all dropped one piece of plate and. The last two bosses have each dropped a leather piece. Uh, next boss is Fancris. Uh, we're going to skip this huge bug tunnel right here. Drops two of uh, the Cloak of Untold Secrets, and that's it. Um, it's just crazy to me that these were 40 man raids, and uh, that's all that dropped was two cloaks for the whole raid. That's just, it's crazy to me. So right now we're at 24.56%. It's decent, not great, but uh, I think it will help also too. My rep gets higher because then I can uh, start turning these quests and unlock some of these items as well. This princess, Huharan, and drops the cloak of golden hive and the karaji binding of command which is for hunters that does help i did skip Vasidius, and i'm going to twin emperors and something really weird happened here we're averaging about two to three drops per boss last time i came here i got three drops only so i decided to attack this guy once and then started making my way to the other boss when you do that, it pulls the whole last hallway as well. So I, I killed everything here. And as you'll see when I loot this in a second here. Took a little bit of time for me to multi-shut the down. So I get the typical three drops. But then I was able to loot him as well. And got five. That's a lot. So what did I get? I got the Gloves of Hidden Temple, which are leather. Uh, I got two formulas, Enchant Gloves Threat, Enchant Cloak Subtlety, Vec Nalash's Circlet, Vecklor's Diadem, which is for hunters, the Royal Karaji Belt, and the Imperial Karaji Armaments, which are also for hunters as well. So coming up here, making a left, going to Oro, second to last boss. We get Oro's Impact Hide, which I believe is a back piece. Let me check. Let's see here. Actually, it's a it's a um, turn in for mage priests, rogues, and warriors. And then larvae of the great worm, which is a gun. It's kind of happy about that, and it brought my percentage up to twenty eight point zero seven percent. We're getting almost close at 30%, hoping to make that one-third. There's the gun there. Uh, final boss, Tathun again. Again, nothing. Uh, we got the Darkstorm Gauntlets for Cloth Wearers, Husk of the Old God, and Ring of the God Slayer. So, uh, again, the Encourage runs this week have been pretty bad. I think I got three items in both runs. Um... For this being the second run, it's really low. I would expect it to be a little bit higher just because 
there's so many things to unlock but you know i guess that is what it is as always thanks for watching i appreciate all the subscriptions the comments and the likes on the videos i'll continue to keep making these i do have about 40 more videos to edit so keep your eyes peeled for those as always thanks for watching the wild collector and happy collecting thanks and take care